<laughs> that woman is a clown. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. I swear. <laughs> I have not seen a movie that funny in my life. You know, my husband and I, we usually go out, but this is just different. This is a breath of fresh air. <laughs> I told you you're going to have fun. Mm -hmm. And I did. See how you're enjoying yourself. Thank you, Juliet. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Mm. You have no idea how happy I am that I don't have to do all the house chores anymore. Now I get to think of other things to do with my life. Yeah, that reminds me. What about the new girl? You said she's from your husband's place, right? Mm-hmm. She is. And she learns fast. She's also very hardworking. Ah, I can't thank my mother-in-law enough. God bless her for me. Amen, no. <laughs> Amen. So, what's the next plan? What have you decided to go into? Mm, I, I've been thinking of different things to do, but I'm yet to settle with any. That's fine. Just let me know when you're ready. The good thing is that money will not really be an issue because at least uh, there is money, so it won't really affect your choice of business. Yes, it, it won't. <laughs> Okay, so what do you guys have? Tony! Huh. Ah. Wow! Oh. Is this really you? It's me. Wow! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Auntie, should I start preparing dinner now? Auntie? 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 Um, should I start preparing dinner? Yes, you can start. Wait, wait. What are you preparing? Um, you said I should cook spaghetti and plantain um, with fried egg and liver. Uh, okay, just do it, do it. Okay, okay. Thank you, Juliet. Thank you so much for coming on such short notice. I don't know what I would do without you. It's fine. You're my sister, so of course I can do anything for you. <laughs> okay, so the good thing is that we now know the kind of business we're going into. But it's a very popular one and you know it. So scammers are everywhere. So you need to be extremely careful and like shine your eyes. You're right. You're very right. <laughs> hey, what about the other thing I told you? Which other thing? Tony. Uh -uh. Where are you going? See, I don't even know why you gave him your number. I was only being nice and polite. You said hi to him and you smiled at him. That was you being polite. You know you're not really helping matters here. What is there to help? The last time I checked, you were a married woman. And did I tell you I forgot my marital status? Maybe I need to remind you. But does Kelvin even know about this? Wait. You want me to tell Kelvin I gave Tony my number and now he wants to come over to see me? Are you hearing yourself? See, the very moment you begin to keep secrets away from your husband, that's the moment you start inviting troubles to your home. I'm off. Juliet! <laughs> that is so funny. I know, right? I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, careful. Careful. Yeah. Okay. Great. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so let me help you. No, 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 it's fine. I'll do that myself. Okay. Uh, okay, that's good. Though so this guy has a great taste for everything. What do you mean? For starters, the house. Such a beauty to behold. And you, my dear, you're the crown jewel of them all. <laughs> yeah, I must say he's got a great taste for everything and I admire that about him. <laughs> Come on, you know, what I'm saying is the truth. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you, Mr. Observer. <laughs> 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 you know, I was just wondering how you became this beautiful in just two years. <laughs> Tony, please, enough of me. Okay, so tell me, what has Mr. T, the business mogul, been up to all this while? Oh, come on, don't say that. I hardly see myself as one. But you are. Nah, I'm just... A simple guy who's trying to live a simple life. Indeed. Just say you don't want to tell me. Well, there's absolutely nothing to tell. <laughs> there is. There is. <laughs> um, just give me a minute. Let me go check on the food. Yes, please. Excuse me. So sorry to have kept you waiting. You know, it's really hard to stop Kelvin once he starts talking about a new deal. And is everything okay? Please sit. I need to talk to you. I hope all is well. I just have a confession. A confession? Ada, I've never stopped loving you. Even now that you're married, I never stopped loving you. What are you saying? Ada, I know I've been a really bad boy. And you have every right to hate me for it. Yeah, you do. But I can't. I just have to tell you the way I feel, Lada. I love you. I love you, Lada. Like, every single part of my body craves for you. 
think about you every night before I go to sleep. Even when I wake up in the morning, that's all you that I'm thinking about, Ada. I've tried. I've tried so hard to fight it, but it's not working. I don't think I've ever connected with anyone the way I've connected with you. I feel alive when I'm with you. So I, I was wondering, and I've been wondering if there's any, if there's any chance that we can be together, even if it's just for a little. What did he just say? I mean, I was thinking, since you don't have a child for him, it will be a lot easier for us to get back together. You know, maybe travels to somewhere and start all over again as a family. I don't know what to do. I have never been this confused my whole life. I did not see this coming at all. But I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. No, not this time. So what about Tony? What did he say when you said no? He was so sad. I was even thinking he was going to cry. What was he expecting me to do? To jump in his arms and run off with him? You can blame him. You gave him the green light. How and when did I do that? All I did was... All you did was invite him to your house without your husband's consent and f allowed him to feel at home. And I was planning on telling my husband today. Now this happened. I'm really confused. If you ask me, I would say you should tell Kevin about it. Keeping secrets from each other is one thing that destroys marriage. After all, you, you told me Kevin tells you virtually everything, so I would advise you to say. I don't think that's a good idea. I can't tell Kelvin about this. Tell me about what? Hmm? How you been? Um, um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Are you okay? Yes, I, I am very fine. I just had a busy day. You yeah, sure? Mm-hmm. Who's that on the phone? Um, Juliet, yes. So we're talking about the delay in the delivery of the goods I ordered. Was that what you didn't want to talk to me about? Yes. Um, I did not want to stress you with the whole details of the whole thing. Didn't want to stress me. Look at you. <laughs> You know what? Talking about stress, if this is too much, why don't you get an extra hand, you know? Someone who will be in charge of all the logistics, goods, services, delivery, all that. You know? Don't want you stressing your head. Okay? All right, I will just freshen up. Okay? It's a long way to go. It's a long way to go. You better be careful. Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, the less you see, and you go they confused. It's 5 a.m. What is wrong with you? I have told you to stop calling me. No, you cannot come to my house anymore. I am a married woman, my friend. No, this, this will not. So, I mean, who's calling you at this time of the day? Uh, no, no one. It's just these people. What do you mean, these people? Yes, you know, these scammers, they, they just... They really need to do... Wait, don't tell me they're calling you right back. No, I, I have a solution to this problem, don't worry. Let's see. Why would you do that? What if someone is trying to reach you for an emergency? Well... The only emergency I should be worried about is right in front of me. 
and he's doing just fine. Mm, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Talking about emergency, I have one of my own that needs to be attended to oh. immediately. Oh. Yes, and it needs really? to be taken care of, like, right um, now. <laughs> you know what we do? Let's separate the plane from the pattern. So you sort out the plane, I sort out the pattern. Okay. That's a great idea. And to be easier to sort out. Yeah. This material is just so beautiful. I'm sure you saw them in no time. Uh, you saw them off. I'm sure. I really pray so. My sister, my sister. Business tycoon. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you. You're not like those rich men's wife that will sit in the house, eat, sleep, <laughs> get fat, <laughs> occupy space like Martha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yo. Hey, Julia, don't say that to Julia. my calls, Ada. You even blocked me from messaging you. We really need to talk. Oka, okay, what is there to talk about? You are a grown man. Go out there and look for a wife for yourself. Stop harassing somebody's wife, please. Ada, I promise you I will never come anywhere near your house anymore. Alright? We will go somewhere else and, and talk. Mr. Man, please leave my house. My love. Leave my house this moment! Get out! And if you try as much as coming close to this house again, I will make sure I have you arrested. Get out! Get out! Get out! Leave! Can you imagine? Can you imagine? He had the guts to come here unannounced. What if Kelvin was home? Don't tell me you've still not told Kevin about this. Juliet, this is not the right time for this. Honey, I'm home. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to go. You better be careful. I'm so tired. Before the more you look, the less you see. Um, where is my wife? She went out, sir. Okay. Get me a bottle of vodka and a glass cup. Okay. Which one, sir? The one in the blue bottle. It is finished, sir. I, I served it to Uncle Tony the two times he came here, sir. And who's Uncle Tony? He's, um, he's auntie's friend. He always come when you go to work. But he has stopped coming since they quarreled. Since they quarreled? Yes, sir. And who else was there that day? Auntie Juliet, sir.
Tell me everything. Every single detail. From the time he started coming to the world. Babe. Babe? Oh, babe. <laughs> you won't believe what happened today. <laughs> baby. Baby, are you okay? Did something happen? You're even drinking. You're drinking? Babe. Chama! Babe, talk to me. Chama! Chama! Did anyone come to this house? No one. Just go, just go. Babe, are you okay? Babe, talk to me. Was he really here? Who? Who are you talking about? Was he really here? Baby, you're scaring me. Who, who are you talking about? Is he really here? Oh, he was. He was then. In my house. Sitting on my couch. Eating my food. Drink it from my freaking bottle! It's been a whole month. It's been a whole month. You kept it from me. You, you, you didn't even let one word slip. Not one word. You were careful about it. You were careful about him. Did you, did you really love him that much? How can you even ask me that? You, you know what? I know mean nothing! I mean, I thought I knew you. I thought you loved me. I do, Kelvin, I love no, you. No, you don't love me! Ah. You don't. Love doesn't hurt this much. Love doesn't feel this way. Love doesn't lie. <coughs> love will not do the things you did to me. Especially love will not cheat. I swear. You bloody cheat. I swear. I did not cheat. I would never, I would never do that to you. I swear, God, I would have been not do that.
is your night. I would advise you stay where you are and just be by yourself. That only since to you. I brought this upon myself. Is it that bad? It's worse. It gets worse every day. He doesn't even look at me anymore. It's, a, it's like he can't stand the sight of me. I think I have lost my husband. God forbid, you won't lose your husband. <gasps> Don't say that again. See, I know for sure that Kelvin loves you. You just need to fight for, back for your love. That's just it. Besides, you, you never had anything to do with Tony. That is it. He doesn't believe. He doesn't believe me. He thinks we... He thinks I just knew that this was going to end badly. I knew that everything that has to do with this Tony of a guy would definitely end badly. And I told you, but you never listened to me. <laughs> have you even tried to sit down like, have you sat him down, talked to him? He, he doesn't want to be in the same room with me. If I am upstairs, he comes downstairs. If I am down here, he goes upstairs or he leaves the house and he comes back really late and I can't do anything about it because it is all my fault. Okay. I brought it about myself, Jeanette. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Calm down, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> this place will pass, I believe. It's okay. I brought this upon myself. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Kelvin, we need to talk. And I am not taking no for an answer. Kelvin, I will not be ignored. Where are you coming from? Kelvin, it's 1 a.m. What if something had happened to you? Do you think I will survive if anything should happen to you? Yeah. Kelvin, this is what I have told you over and over again, Kelvin. Nothing happens between us. Nothing, ah, nothing. You missed the point. You missed the point, my darling wife. It's 
not about sleeping with him or being with him. I did not sleep with him. I'm talking. It's the fact that you were sneaky. You operated under the radar. I'm sorry. Yeah. We, we you remember we made ourselves promises? Yes, I do. And one of them was that we wouldn't lie to each other. Talk about everything. Okay. And you broke our trust. Okay. You broke our bond. Kelvin, I am sorry. We broke our bond. Kelvin, please, I am sorry. Everything you do, you better forget The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. Yeah, It's a long way to go. Yeah, It's a long way to go. Yeah, You better be careful. Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, be the less you see. and you go they confused. So say you no go know what else to do. You go calm the cry. Oh, my life, oh my life, is falling apart. My life, my life. Oh, oh. Hey. I don't know what else to do. My life, oh my life, is falling apart. And I truly dance now, what else to do? For everything you do, you better be careful. You better be careful. The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. You better be careful. Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, be the less you see. and you go they confused. So say you no go know what else to do. You go calm the cry. Oh, my life, oh my life, is falling apart. Baby, I have missed you so much. Come. Come, come, come. Come to the darling husband. You see, I love you so much, my beautiful wife. You complete me. And I don't want to fight with you. See, I don't care what that bloody rapist did, whatever both of you may have talked about. I love you. And my feelings for you will never change. Nobody change it. I know I am going to have to fight for you for the rest of my life. Yes, there are people out there who will 
fight and struggle to get your attention. That's because you are beautiful. Your glow can light up any world. <laughs> but I am ready to fight till the day I die for your love. My beautiful Adam. The love of my life. Come, make love to me. Uh, um, so Shh, don't say anything. Make love to your husband. Come, just make love to your darling husband. <laughs> You have refused to eat your food, now you're here crying. This is two weeks now, two weeks. You keep starving yourself. You won't pick your husband's call, you won't answer it, you, you won't reply it, nothing. Not even to see him. What if he comes here to arrest me for kidnapping his wife, like he threatened? You won't do it. How do you know you won't do it? The last time he came, he was so angry. I thought he was going to push me inside and enter the house with force. <sighs> See, you just cannot continue like this. You can't continue like this. You need to come together with your husband and fight this. At least hear him out. He explained everything to me and I understood and I believed him. Yes, I believe him and I think you should do the same. Like listen to him. There is nothing to talk about here. He has already made his decision and his action says it all. This marriage is over. You, you cannot just... Please, please, please do not try to convince me. I'll go get my things later. No, not to worry. I will not inconvenience you. I will look for a place and I will live here very soon.
so confused. confused. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. Uh, my life, oh my life, oh, my life is falling apart. Hi. And I truly don't know what else to do. told you to stay away, Choma. If I get to that door and you're still there, you will not like what I will do to you. Stop! I will not stop. Why are you acting like a child? Really? I'm acting like a child? I'm acting like a child, really. She just ran off. You didn't even wait to listen to my own side of the story. You, you ran off and now I'm acting like a child? Don't you dare play the victim here. I begged you day and night. Pleaded with you to listen to my own side of my own story. But you pushed me away. Only for me to find you. At least I did not do anything with Tony. I can see your mistress has settled in very well. Oh. She is now the lady of the house. Oh. I'm sorry, whatever happened was never meant to happen. I can't even explain what. I, I'm sorry. I miss you, my love. I miss you. I miss you. This house. I miss you. Please, I'm sorry. Please, please. I can't live without you. I think about you every passing moment. What, what happened was, was never meant to happen. Oh, I miss you. I miss you so much. My body craves for you. I'm sorry. I want you to stay. This is your house. Our house. Our home. It's not a home without you. Please, I, I promise to make everything right. No more secrets. No more Tony. And no more Chioma. She was not even in the picture in the first place. I want us to be like this forever, babe. Get you something to eat. Yeah? We'll do that later. Let's just stay like this for now. Okay, my love. 
Whatever you want. I am not in a hurry. Truth is, it's a thing for some humans. They like attention mm -hmm. and they will do anything to get it. And that was what he was trying to get. <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. baby. You shouldn't have ordered this takeaway. I'm full. I know you're full. Thing is, I don't want you waking up in the morning prepping breakfast. So, what you could do is just pop one of this into the microwave and voila, we're done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's see. It's your... Mm. Baby! What? <laughs> I miss you. But we've been together since morning. Uh, well, technically, you ran away for what? Over three weeks? I did not run away. Really? Really? <laughs> really? You are going to have to admit okay, okay. to it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, uh, Choma, how are you? <clears throat> so, um, I think I should do this uh, right away. Yes, um, I'm going to send you some money. And um, yeah, it should be enough for you. You would have to leave the house first thing in the morning. Yes, you would be heading back to the village. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, after using me, you want to dump me like a piece of rag? Hmm? Anyways. I am not going anywhere. Unfortunately, that will not fly. You will have to leave this house first thing in the morning. Else, you will not like what I would do. And what is that supposed to mean? Is she better than I am in bed? No. Is, is she prettier than I am? Does she even do that? I cannot do double. All she does is sit like one big woman while I do everything in this Hey! Room. Hush it! Hush it, okay? You will not talk about my wife, especially in my presence, in that manner! What has come over you? Are you insane? I've said what I needed to say. You are leaving this house first thing in the morning, else you will not like what I will do to you. I promise you! Well, for your information, I cannot go back to my father's house when I'm carrying your child. What did you just say? Oh, yes, you heard me clearly. What you couldn't do for good two years, I, Choma, did it in just one night. I've already done the test. And I have the proof. And I have not been with any man. I, nothing. I, 
I thought... You thought I had run off again, right? Don't worry. I will not go anywhere. This is my home. And whatever happens, we will walk through it together. Gemma, please, you will have to abort that child. My husband and I cannot be responsible for an illegitimate child. God forbid. I can never abort my unborn child. So you want me to kill my unborn child the way you have killed all the children in your room, Babi? Now let's just slide. Right now, I am more concerned about this getting out of here. I have made arrangements with the family doctor and he will be here tomorrow. So get yourself ready for him. That's a lie. It is a lie. I cannot kill my unborn child. You are a wicked woman. Witch. That's what you are. Chama, you really need to think this through. Please. Even you. For all hands concerned, please, you need to think this through. Yes, Papa. He did it and now he wants me to abort it. His wife is the master planner. Yes, Papa. No, Papa. The doctor is coming very early in the morning. Yes, Papa. But I'm so scared. I'm so scared. What if they remove my womb? They want to ruin my life, Papa. Yes, Papa. Papa, I'm so scared. Papa, I, I know the village is very far, but I want you to enter the available bus and get here fast, Papa. I have not known pieces. I have come to this house. Okay, Papa. Okay, Papa. Let me, let me see who will push me out of this house. Where are they? Where is that wicked woman that wants to render my daughter useless? Where are they? Where is the son of Okeze that has been bewitched? Come out here and meet me. Where are they? Madam will be sleeping by now. Will you shut up? How can the, those wicked people be sleeping while they deprive others from their sleep? <gasps> What's going on? You didn't tell me your father was coming. Must she tell you that I'm coming? I am here. And I know you are not happy to see me here. And I've come. 
plan to destroy your plans. Yes, the both of you don't even know whom you are dealing with. Can you at least bring your voice down? This is not the village and it's late already. Shh, shh. Why you should shame me? Hey! <laughs> I will forgive your ignorance. You, Kevin, you know me too well. You and your family know me very well. And you know I don't beat around the bush. I do not want to see any doctor here tomorrow because my daughter is not going to abort the baby that you have planted in her womb. What? Um, Nay, um, can we talk about this some other time? What you need right now is to settle down and the rest. Please, I know you must be tired. Uh, no doctor will come in the morning. No doctor. When you sick over here, I can make a call for The slow movement of a tiger does not mean cowardice. My life, oh my life, is falling apart. And I truly don't know what else to do. The hell is wrong with you? Who was that for? He needs to go and rest. We will settle everything in the morning. What exactly is wrong with you, Kelvin? My love, I did it for you. It's for you. I, I know you don't know that man. Oh, I have figured it quite all right. He is Chioma's father. He's not just Chioma's father. What do you mean by he's not just her father? Listen, babe. That man happens to be the most dangerous native doctor in the village. He's been rumored to have killed people for no reason, for just, just crossing paths with them. He's very dangerous. I didn't want you to deal with him directly with all that exchange. Why, 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 why didn't you just tell me? Why? Can, can you, why will you allow such an evil man in our house? I, 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 I know. Chuma must have called him. Oh, God. God. What is all this? What is all this? From, from one problem to the other. What is all this? What are we going to do? What? I am as confused as you were. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. You know, take a deep breath, relax, get into bed, sleep. Then when we wake up in the morning, we'll figure something <laughs> out. How can you even talk about sleeping? How do you expect me to sleep when we have such an evil man in our house, Kelvin? How could you let your mother bring in the daughter of a native doctor? What were you thinking? Calm down, calm down, okay? Sweetheart, please calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Don't worry about it, Mr. Wong. Just let me know. Hmm? Um, like, uh, I don't want to repeat myself again. My daughter will not abort this pregnancy. I understand what you're saying. Which is what we've been talking about all morning, man. But you need to understand. Kevin, there is no but. For one who has no child of his own, and uh, someone would think you will be very, very happy to hear about this good news. It's not every man that gets to call himself a husband and a father at the same time. But the gods have blessed your second wife before your first wife. And she is carrying your son. And you want to came. No. Like I said inside, about not having a child, God's time is the best. You people land this your God. Well, that's no problem. But the culture permits a man to marry more than one wife. Of course, the gods have blessed your second wife before your first wife. No, I, I really, I'm not happy we're having to go through this over and over again. We spoke about this inside. I am not going to take a second wife. I'm married to my wife here at Amha and 
I'm very happy with her. I'll be with her till my dying day. What happened between me and your daughter was a mistake. Kevin! Well, you set this inside and I allowed it to lay. And you've repeated it here before me again. Don't ever say that again unless you want to fetch the right of Amadouan. Your grandfather was a very good friend of my father. That's why I allowed your mother to take my daughter without questions. Don't ever allow me to do what both of us will regret. Listen, I will wait till she delivers. Then you will come and pay the bride price. And if I hear that anything happens to her or the baby, or that she is not happy here, <laughs> you will know why I am called Chief Nongayeme. I will take my leave. For everything you do, you better be careful. You better be careful. The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. You better be careful. Right now, she is the madam of the house. She doesn't do anything. It's as if I am back where I started from. But this time, it's even worse. Kelvin is too scared of her father to do anything. Don't worry, I know Kelvin is on your side, for sure. This is not a matter of sides, Juliet. Can't you see what is happening here? I'm very sure they are planning to send me out once she delivers the baby. Two years now and I have nothing to show for it. Don't worry, God will do all that in his own time. <laughs> you need to relax. It's just your darling husband. And when did my handsome husband get home? Hmm. Well enough to notice my beautiful wife looking all sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, see. Yes, babe. What are you thinking about? I strongly believe you know what I am thinking about already. Mm -hmm. Don't you? <laughs> Thank you, babe. For what? For everything. Baby. Mm -hmm. I should be the one thanking you for loving me the way you do. You know, Sometimes I just wonder if I deserve the love I get from you. Don't you ever talk or think like that. Okay, you deserve everything and more. I just, I just hope and pray that I can be enough for you when you need me. You are more than enough. You are. I love you. I love you too. All right, now. You need to give me that one thing I want. Mm-hmm. Yes, the kiss. A kiss? It's just the beginning of what I'll give it tonight. Alright! <laughs> mm. Oh, let's get it on. <laughs> My sister, please help yourself. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for you. Who would have thought that you of all people would be living in a mansion like this? Or be married to Kelvin Okeze? My sister, it's the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our sight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, please just manage this. Yeah, sure. It's my husband's turn to cook today, and he will be really mad if he finds out that I made anything. Are you serious? He cooks for you. Mm -hmm. You are truly blessed. You have a husband that loves you so much, takes good care of every of your needs. Yes, you have time to cook for you. Mm -hmm. Ah, who more can a woman be asking for now? <laughs> My sister, you've said it all. Oh, I am really blessed. I'm a big, keeping my own now. True. I think you will. So when last like, year from Sister Pat? <laughs> Please, I beg you in the name of God, don't mention that name when my husband is around. In fact, that name has been forbidden in this house. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. Let me enjoy my juice toilet. I have just put everything behind me. All I want to do now is live happily with my husband and take care of the children. God will bless us really. Uh, speaking about kids, how many do you intend to have? Mm, um, not sure yet, but probably two or three. For what now? What happened to six or seven? You, you will help me take care of I them, right? I will be there, don't worry. Oh, Small you, thing. You, no, you will first of all carry Small them. Thing, don't then. worry, we are here together. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. You won't die. So, three. Two. <laughs> Probably two boys uh, and a girl or two girls and a boy. Fine. How are you two? I'm fine. Why are you breathing like you run 800 miles? <laughs> My sister, this one is more than 800 miles. Taking care of this big house is not funny at all. Sorry, dear. I suggest you get a house help. That house is too big for you to be cleaning anymore. Anyways, I just want to remind you of our outing tomorrow. Hope you have overboard. <laughs> of course not. I haven't. Okay, let me get back to what I was doing. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Sure. Very sure. Mm. Okay. I'll mm. say you said so. <laughs> so what did you get up to? Uh, I was cleaning all day. I'm so tired. Wow. Well, I'm sorry you had to do it all alone. Mm? Mm, don't worry. Mm. Next time, I will make sure I leave some work for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem, babe. Um, did anybody tell you that you look Super amazing this evening. My husband tells me every evening. Mm, your husband every mm -hmm. evening. He must be a really lucky guy. Uh, no, I am the lucky one. Really? Yes. Mm. Mm. You know what? What? You need to get dressed. Mm -hmm. I want to take you out. Ooh, mm -hmm. I love the sound of that. <laughs> so where are you taking me to? Uh, it's this lovely place they eat human meat. Um, Clifford Hodges Lair. We'll go there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a surprise. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Let me go get dressed.
que eu moro mais lá. You dressed already. Yep, today is the last day of the meeting, you know, with the investors, so I have to be on my A game. Yep. You're <laughs> always on your A game. Thank you, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Now take a look at me. How do I look? Mm -hmm. Excellent as always. Thank you. Of course <laughs> I'm excellent as always. <laughs> All right, babe. I have to be on my way. Oh, I have to be on my way. Babe. What? Did I forget something? Remember to call your mother today. Oh, yes. I will call her. I will, I will call her. Mm -hmm. About? Um... About the house help. Yes, about the house help. I forgot. I was just teasing you. I'm going to call her. I will. I won't forget. Promise? I promise. I'll call on my way out now. I'll call her. Okay? Bye. Love you. You will definitely forget. You will. That is what I have been saying to myself. For right now, I am beginning to doubt that statement. Yes, I know I brought this on myself indirectly. But for how long will I continue to pay for my mistake? I have confessed over and over again. What exactly does he want me to do? Does he want them to chase me out of my own house? Does he want my husband to get tired of me? Judith, I want you to help me ask God. What exactly does he want me to do? What? What? Just, it's okay. Just stop crying, okay? Everything is going to be fine. Okay, trust me. Everything is going to be fine. Let me get you something to take. Okay. There are a lot of things I can tolerate from you, but I will not be your personal slave in this house. <laughs> <laughs> when real women are talking, a man like you should not be talking. You know what? I'm not going to waste my strength talking to you. I'm going to save it for my son. If you think you will talk to me the way you like, because you shamelessly spread your legs for a married man, then you are definitely in for something else. I will so slap the living daylight out of you the next time you talk to me in that manner. What's going on? Serious. What do you mean? Am I being serious? Oh my fuck. I know you, you can't really tolerate her, but come on, you need to, you need to check your emotions. She's pregnant for crying out crying about in this condition. Really? Things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. Life's a long way to go. It's a long way to go. You better be careful. Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, the less you see. and you go they confused. So say you no go know what else to do. You go come the cry oh, my life, oh my life, is falling apart. My life, my life, oh, oh. Hey. The things you do today 
Can't stand against you tomorrow. Life is a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. You better be careful. Before the more you look, the more you look, go be the less you see, the less you see. and you go they confused. So say you no go know what else to do. You go calm the cry. Oh. My life, oh my life, is falling apart. My life, my life. Oh, oh. Hey. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Didn't you say I was watching something? Did they not teach you manners in that village of yours? I also stayed in the village at a time in my life, but I was never as ill-mannered as you. What's your problem? <sighs> my father told me that barring women like you walk around looking for who they will blame for their problem. I'm not going to exchange words with you. I want to concentrate on my problem. Hmm? Your husband loves you. He takes care of you and still sleeps with you at night, regardless of everything. Just be patient and trust God that this will soon be over. Look at that. Instead of her to go and find solution to her problem, she's here dragging remote with a pregnant woman. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to go. You better be careful. You don't expect me to go and pick a fight with her every time you complain about something. You need to learn to let some things go. You no longer reprimand her. You condone everything she does and act like it's all good. How do you think that makes me feel? Don't you dare lay your hand on me, unless I'll scatter everything in this house. So, you don't want them to, to know that I'm here, Abby? You don't want them to see me. See, I'm not going anywhere for information. Why, you, what is wrong with you? You had better leave here before I call the police. <laughs> leave right now! Uh, police call police me. Do, do I look scared to you? Do I? If you like, call the military. If you like, call the navy. I don't care. Except you come with me. God forbid. Me. Come with you to, to, to that ghetto. Eh? What is going on here? Young man, who are you? Um, I... He lost his way. He, he was looking for someone around the estate and he mistakenly came to our house. So, um, young man, go out and... It's like you're mad. It's like you... You, you are crazy. Ogami, uh, I did not miss my way. In fact, I know exactly where I am and what I come here to do. Uh, Choma here is my girlfriend. And I'm the father of the unborn child. It's like you are mad. Eh? It's like something is wrong with you. What are you talking about? How, how can you say this is your child? It's like you are mad. Do you know me? Have you seen me before in your life? Eh? Have you seen me before in your life? I think you should call the police. I don't know what this madman is doing here. How can he be claiming your own child? Your son! Ah. Now I see what is going on here. Choma. So they have paid you, Abby. They have paid you to sell my child to them. My unborn child, Abby. What's, what's all this nonsense? Chuma, what's all this? What's going on? Nothing is going on. I, I don't know who this man is. I think someone paid him to do this. How am I even sure she's not the one that paid him to do this? Are you insane? <laughs> Shebi, you don't know me. You've not seen me before. Eh? Do I know you? You've not seen me before. You don't know me. What, what, what's all this madness? 
Or you show them what you said my number with. Show them now. <laughs> See, I'm by your my love. I, I am by you. And she's my love. Choma. Mm. <laughs> so, Kelvin is not the father of your baby after all. I will so kill you. I will, I will, I will kill you! Kelvin, you better leave me. Kelvin, you better leave me because this house will not contain the pot of us now. Kelvin, you better leave me because this. Choma, you. As, as for Choma, you! you. We'll, we'll have a talk on this later, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Leave me alone! Let's go. Get out of this house right now. The things you do today. I'm not going anywhere. Except to go. Come on, get out from here! It's your life. It's a long way to go. Choma! Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Choma! Yeah, yeah. It's a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. You better be careful. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, we know you're a very busy person and that you have very important things to do in the village. Uh, and so we're very grateful you came on such short notice. Um, we called you here because of the issue at hand. We thought it's um, only best. Can you just calm down? Let me take over, okay? Um, Nay. We called you here because this young man, this this one seated here, says he is responsible for your daughter's pregnancy and not my darling husband. Hmm? His name is Bayo, and he has proof of what he's saying. He's your daughter's boyfriend, and they've been sleeping with each other since God knows when. Um, Nai, my husband and I owe your family nothing. <sighs> what have you to say about this? Papa, I'm sorry. You are sorry. Do I hear you say you are sorry? Choma, do you say you are... Uh, 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 I'm an angel. Uh, what give me a one child? Young man, who are you? Okay. If you must know, my name is Adebayo Babatunde. And uh, I'm the husband-to-be of your daughter. And the father of the unborn child. May Amadio has strike your mouth if you say that nonsense again. Amy, may Ogun, the ghost of my forefathers and my ancestors, strike that to Amadio and Hadia if you don't give me my wife and my unborn child. See, it's like you don't know who I be, Abby. Look, I don't be under you, Baba. You. Don't ever play with me. Chuma, you don't tell your father who I be. Better tell Amo. And my daughter out. will not marry a useless Yoruba boy as long as I live. Okay, now. Prepare to die. <laughs> now I understand what is going on here. So, you want to sell my child, my unborn child, to these rich people, Abi? My ancestors will never allow it to happen. Over my dead body will that happen. Don't DM you. Don't play with me, Choma. Be that to your father who I be. Tell him. I don't buy you or what you call yourself. Listen. The chick that does not listen to the mother mm -hmm. ends in the belly of the hawk. I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. <laughs> what I'm telling you is, don't play with me. Don't ever joke with me. I don't buy you, remember? You dele caraca. I'm warning you! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Enough of all this nonsense. Okay? Um, whatever it is that needs to be out there is out there. So, I think it's that time you all.
get up and get the hell out of my house. You heard my husband. Eh? Go, go. Mm -hmm. ah. Joma. Joma, let's go. Joma. Huh? Jack, I love you. <laughs> The things you do today can stand against you tomorrow. <laughs> I am telling you, Life is a long I way could not believe my eyes and my ears. Babe, <laughs> <laughs> let me see, I swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> okay, Biba, I'll call you later, okay? Mm, bye. Hmm. What? What, you're giving Juliet the news already? Baby, this is not just any news. Mm -hmm. This is a great news. Oh, really? The best news ever. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how is she doing? She's okay. That's good to know. What? Maybe what? <laughs> Babe! Adama! <laughs> What's going on? I get, should I call the doctor? No, you don't have to. I know what's happening to me. What do you mean what's happening to you? What's, what's going on? I, I felt it, but I wasn't sure. You felt what? You're scaring me. What's going on? Tell me. It's not like you're going to be a father after all. Pregnant. I'm sorry I did not tell you. I, 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 you, you're pregnant. Why didn't you just say so? You. It's okay. You're, you're pregnant. Yes. I love you. I love you too. I want to be a father. I'm going to have a baby. <laughs>